between work, family, and other responsibilities, it's tough to find time to spend five or six hours on the water. But if you're willing to change your perspective, you can find some prime fishing spots right in the middle of the city. fishing and oh, let's hop on our bikes and go a couple miles downstream. Alright, so I'm two minutes away from my office and there's this little ditch. It's actually called Mill Creek and it drains about half the city. We've had flooding the past few days. I'm hoping that the bluegill, maybe even some bass are still here because this is a neat little spot to come fishing when you only have about an hour to get out of the office. There's almost like a little dam-like feature. For years, I've driven past here and seen water all the way upstream. And if there's water, there's gonna be fish. Not the biggest fish, but considering we're fishing a ditch in the middle of the city, it isn't half bad. When you're fishing ditch, you just gotta have a different mindset. This is just about getting out of the office, getting out of the house, clearing your mind when you don't have time to go to trophy water. Right there's one on it, look at it. You know, this is the best thing about fishing these ditches is there's not a lot of forage. There's just not a lot for these fish to eat. So they're gonna hit just about anything presented to them because they're starving. Look at this, he swallowed that one. The lack of forage really opens up the ability to throw anything like a creek hopper. <laughs> the jet's flying over from the airport about a mile away. Even though it's not crick hopper season, it's January. Most people wouldn't throw a crick hopper this time of year. You got to downsize. I'm using an ultralight setup, four pound test, and using these crick hoppers because the fish are going to be small. Hundreds of cars driving by, 200 yards that way. There's somebody over there who's a fisherman who sees me. Are they thinking, man, what an idiot? Or are they wishing that they were over here? They ought to be wishing they were over here. So there's a lot of different ways to fish a crick hopper. Let it sit, just twitch it every so often. You can crank it. My favorite way is to twitch and reel. Right now they're liking the twitch and reel. Well, time to head back to the office, let this little guy swim away and catch him again some other time. <laughs>